weird. Um, well, it's Saturday, so it's go time. We're making videos now. Now we just gotta figure out what to make them about. So, I'm just hanging out in the attic right now. I'm getting a little bit of lighting set up. Uh, I gotta try and get these pars working. They haven't been for some reason. Uh, or at least they keep switching up on me, so I'm gonna try and get that rolling. Stay tuned. It's gonna be interesting. Promise. Or like, at least hope so. It's interesting if you like DMX lights and Ableton and fog machines and weird dudes up in the attic by themselves. got some lights around and I'm gonna try and get those rolling soon I'm just kind of doing a time test thing to see if my transmitters are off but um, and then I've got my DJ rig set up down here um, so got the DJ 808 I've got the ATEM mini video switcher here my DMX IS so that I can send the lighting controls around the room and then I've got my launch pad here, which is connected with Ableton so that I can uh, trigger clips, which ch again, change the patterns around the room. I've got a bunch of lights up here in the attic um, and I'm trying to get it set up so that I can do my live set. I've got uh, a bunch of pars here. These ones are pretty new. I've got the gig bar behind me. Got some more pars over here. I'm trying to put together a cool live set because I haven't seen one. I I feel like I know I know that there's a lot of really crazy stuff that could be done. And I want I I want to inspire rather than need for someone else to do the work. I want to do the hard part. So I'm going to do it. Let's dive in. I got some of the lights working. <laughs> hey, still up here, working on some different stuff, and I want to test some of the issues that I've been having recently with my video software and recording in this sort of an environment with these lights and the fog. I've been noticing these light rolls that go up. Um, or down from the lights and kind of appear in the darkest parts of the video. It's a real problem because it looks bad, but I'm going to run a couple of experiments to see if I can replicate that and then fix it. Let's do it. Need some more fog. Ready? Bro, for real, I can hardly see a damn thing in here. <laughs> Can I pull it? <laughs> I caught the focus. So, I just plugged the gig bar in, and you can see behind me that there's a little bit of a light roll, and I think that that might better have been the problem. I think it might be the gig bar, which still feels weird to me, because I don't know why the gig bar would have this effect when some of the other lights won't. I do you see the aberrations in the back? Do you see that movement, that rolling? I don't really see it right now. And I don't know why that is. Hmm. That is nice. This is a good angle. Need a new profile picture anyway.
um, and I'm going to show you a little bit about the lighting software and how it's working right now to control the light. So here we've got the rig. Let me show you what's up. Uh, I just sprayed a bunch of fog in here. <laughs> okay, so here's the DJ decks and those are obviously used for DJing. That's pretty simple and self-explanatory. But here's where the fun, the fun happens. This is the launch pad, which right now I'm using as my control surface for the, all the lights in this room. Like this one, like this one, like this one, like those ones back there, those ones. Right now it's on red, this will be white. Orange, green, and I can select the colors that I want there. First row are vibes for the whole room, second row colors, third row the dims and which lights appear on, and then I've got some other options back here. These all get ran into that DMXIS software, which is what I use to control the lights. Here, in the DMX software, you can see that I've got my first hex par here, second here, third here, fourth here. So then, when I pick a different pattern, you can see on the screen that they jump. <laughs> 